made famous TV. Yo, what up? This made famous TV. I'm checking in right now with the homeboy, the drummer boy. We get this live interview going on real quick. Drum, tell me what you got going on, man. Man, cool it, man. What's good, man? We out here working on this new project for 100 Days, for 100 Nights, too, man. Shout out to DJ Tony H, man. Hype One Marketing, man. Shout out to goddamn Made Famous TV, man. We just pushing the brands, pushing the labels. Shout out to my youngin', man. Uh, Lil Real, man. 900 ENT, foe, you know. So we just really working and networking, man. And really pushing these young men in the right direction with this uh, music, man. And just trying to do things the right way and build a brand, big bro. Okay, all right, let people know where we at right now. Right now, man, we in the studio, man. We at the beginning of Fort, Fortune 400, man. This is the, um, this is the, um, this is the label in Brookhaven, Mississippi. This is the home team or, or whatnot. This is the headquarters or whatnot. Uh, Modernero Music Group, you know, we based that out of Atlanta. Fortune 400 is based out of Mississippi, Brookhaven, Mississippi. And we in the lab right now working on 400 days, 400 nights too. And uh, Nick's and co up and coming mixtape, man. So we hitting the work, hitting them with the album. This is gonna be the album work, and then we hitting them with the mixtape next. How you end up coming with the name uh, Modernero Music Group? Man, me and my cousin was on the way of New Orleans to New Orleans, man, and we was just really thinking about some names and something to come up with, man. And um, you know, we 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 just came up with MDMG Modernero Music Group. Some pretending to trying to get some money, man. And, mm -hmm. and we came up with it like that. So, thus far, what you think is your most successful mixtape or single right now? Bro, I can't even say now one on right now, man, because I'm still building. It's to the extent that when they catch on to that one single that everybody just, the streets just accept and they catch on to it, then I think they'll be able to check out the other music. You feel what I'm saying? Right now, I'm still up and coming. I feel like I ain't did shit yet. I'm still in the streets. I'm still in the trenches trying to grind it out. And get to that um, that level of success or whatnot with the music, but man, I'm I'm looking at every project can be that next one. So I'm just steady pushing it. I think I got one of the biggest response from four four hundred days, four hundred nights, the first one. So that's what really inspired me to do part two. All right. So since you're between, like, we're not gonna say between, but you buy Louisiana and Texas. Do you think your sound drop for them a little bit? Man, I done heard a lot of people tell me that they um, that they say I need to be over there in Texas networking a lot. They say I'm okay. familiar with some of the Texas boys over there. My sound is, but uh, most definitely, man, I um, I wanted to try something new with this project. I at least wanted one of those uh, some of that Louisiana flavor on one of these beats, man. Some little bounce just to see how I can ride it. But uh, yeah, man. Do any of our Texas artists do it? Do any of them inspire you? Yeah, with your man. Sound? Most definitely. I um, man, I'm always inspired by the OGs to this shit, like Skyface, man, and um, fucking Skyface and them boys, UGK and them, man. You know what I'm talking about? I can't really say the newest Texas rapper that I could say got damn bi that really inspired me. You know, I'm 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 still still with uh Slim Thug and goddamn Chameleon and Paul Wall and Michael Watts and them boys. I ain't really ain't no new artists coming out of just Texas. Really, just to call my eye, Sauce Walker. He all right, you know. But uh, you know, we ain't just really had that much, you know, new up and coming artists coming out of Texas, which. I think Mississippi and Texas need to link up and push their shit like the Atlanta be pushing their shit, man. We slick need to do that. True. I'm willing to work. It's damn so worth a try. You know? So the Mississippi music scene, what do you think about it? Man, Mississippi music scene, man, we slept on, man. It's a lot of talent in Mississippi. I just really think we slept on because a lot of people look at it as not a marketable state right now for us. <clears throat> we don't have as many opportunities as a lot of individuals, so we most definitely got to get out there and put that footwork in, you know, which any up-and-coming artist would have to. You would have to get out there in them streets and go to them outside cities and towns before you go to these just major cities. I would think using the same aspect and being strategic as if you would go to Atlanta 
and uh, has to work it outside Atlanta for his Decatur, uh, uh, Athens, uh, um, you know, all these places on the outskirts of, or, uh, of the inside of Atlanta to really gain the uh, momentum that you need for us being in a major city. You will really have to apply that to any state you go work in. If you want to target Mississippi, you will probably have to work outside Jackson, cover all the um, towns and small cities within Mississippi <clears throat> before you just go to the major uh, the major cities, man. So you just got to really be strategic. There ain't no way around putting in the work. So do you feel that DJs have a part to maybe why the uh, Mississippi scene might be a little sluggish on um, helping the underground artists? No, I'm not. Um, I will say you got one or two DJs that's willing to help the artists on what we going on, but the artists got to be willing to invest in itself also. You know, it take you guys without you guys, our records would not be heard. But here, you got to put out the footwork. What the fuck is? What's the point of um, pushing the record and the artists ain't pushing? That's true. You know, what what's the point of paying um, for these DJs to spin your records or push your record? just on a digital platform, just on the internet, and you ain't getting out there in them damn streets passing out hard copies to individuals, uh, shaking hands and meeting people. You really got the artists, it, it's what and what, man. Because, you know, what's the point of pushing a record and breaking a record if the people don't know you? You got to tap into the fans, man. It ain't no way around that shit. Okay. So let people know out there know where they, how they can find you on social media, whether it's Instagram, Snapchat, yes, Twitter, man. Most whatever it may be. You can find me on any platform, any social media platform. On Facebook, it's the Drama Boy, T H A D R A M A B O Y. On Twitter, it's Drama Boy 400. Um, on in Instagram, it's Drama Boy 400. Um, man, shit. If you, you most definitely, if you want to get in uh, contact with me or anything we got going on in our camp, you can get at most definitely DJ Tony H. You know, that's my DJ, man. Bro, gonna make sure, goddamn it, he points you in the right direction with whatever we need pertaining to hype on marketing, man, building your brand, mixtape placements, man. I've been dealing with Big Bro going on now four years, man. And um, when I spend my money, I know my money is being done the righteous way. I know um, every time I invest in myself, Big Brother showed me the facts, and the facts are there, and the numbers don't lie. And, you know, he always opened doors up for me. So most definitely, man, uh, you can reach out to me, man, through all those social media platforms. If you got any type of uh, work you want to work, man, any type of beat submissions or whatever, you can hit me up in my Gmail, dramaboy98 at gmail.com. Man, most definitely, let's link up, let's work, man. <clears throat> uh, where can they find out your music at? Man, you can find my music on all social media platforms. Beyond the social media platforms, you can find it on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Spotify, Tidal, man, uh, Apple Music, any platform that everybody else um, music is on, man. You can find it for us. Um, mixtapes, you can go to my mixtape, live mixtapes, um, that piff, uh, top mixtapes, you know, Spinnerilla, you know, wherever. The music is, man, just type the drummer boy in, T-H-A-D-R-A-M-A-B-O-Y, and you can find me, man. All right, man, we sure appreciate you for your time, man, here at Made Famous TV, bro.